Hi guys, welcome back. In the last video, we worked on a simple particle system using Flutter. And this is exactly what's on my screen here. Smokish effects and you know, particles. And in this video, I just want to build a little bit on the simple particle system and create emitters for the particle. So at the end of our video, we should have something close to this thing. You can, you can see the video on the screen. Something close to this. So you can see as I tap on the screen, I create a new emitter and the emitter basically, you know, emits the particles and drop them. So that is what we are aiming for in this video. So to start, we will create, we already have our particle objects here. So create an emitter objects. The emitter objects will have um, an offset, call it position. And then it will have um, a list. List of particles. And of course, the list of particles to remove. And then we can create uh, our constructor. So the constructor should only take in the position. and uh, should be required should be required and here we can have particles equal to list that generates let's add just one particle each time an emitter is created so here we have particle right and uh, it says okay particles particles to remove means to be neutralized so let's make it a list dots empty variable should be true yeah so basically we have a meter now uh what should we do next let's let's create a list of emitters actually we need to remove the list the list of particle and particle to remove that we have here since that is now going to be handled by the emitter of emitter our own M and uh, we'll remove this. So our emitter is going to be uh, empty by default. And we should remove this also. So in our particle painter, we need to make, we need to tell the particle painter to take in an emitter, a list of emitters, sorry. So it should be a meter, it's not a meter. A list of meters. Uh, a meters. Up here, a meters, a meters. A meters. Oh, my keyboard is really misbehaving right now. Um, okay. Now, particles is not going to be found. So let's do a quick loop, a quick loop through emitters. So we do emitter in emitters and particle in emitter dot particles. And this is, you don't need this either. So when we refresh this, we have not not spread because we have not created an emitter anywhere, right? So to create an emitter, let's do let's wrap our size box in a gesture detector, and uh, we have on tap down, which gives us a detail, right? Uh, details. So here, all we have to do is to add an emitter. Let's add emitter position should be details dot global position. So now we're adding an emitter. Now we tap on the screen. So let's tap on the screen and see what we have. So yep, we can see. Now we tap, we can see something, but it's not coming out where we're tapping. Uh, that should be because of this. So this can be better. Should be in the constructor. Required because that's 
x and we required this dot y, right? So now when we're creating a particle, we need to have uh, x, which is going to be our position, the position of our emitter dot the x, and the y will be position of our emitter dot the y. Let's refresh and see. So you can see a particle comes out very quickly. So now we're having just one particle, and of course it's disappearing. So what we need to do is add more particles. Let's create an update um, method here in the emitter, and in here we're going to have um particles dot add. Let's do add all. Let's do generate one particle. So the reason I'm doing add all is because you might want to add maybe three particles per frame. Uh, let's just make it three. Let's see. So when we do this, we still need to call the updates. It's one thing to create a function, it's another thing to call it. So we have to call the updates here. So update the emitter before we show the particles. So now we tap somewhere, you can see it's all coming together. We tap another place, it's all coming together. It's a lot of particles. I think we should just stick to one particle per frame. So yep. Since it's just one particle per frame, we can just use add instead of add all. Good. So we have the emitter, it's the particles, but currently I don't think we are actually removing the particles when the life is over. So we have to we have we have to make sure that is done or else our demo will start lagging before we know it's in particles. So we look through particles and then we check if a particle if particle is finished, then we add it to particles to remove. Add particle. Then we do another loop where we check particles to remove. And in there, we're going to particle dot remove. We don't need this condition. So we check particles to remove. And if a particle if any particle is in particles to remove them, we basically just remove it from particles. So, yeah. Now we have an it's a, I think we can make the size of the uh, of the particle a bit smaller. Yes. So now we have our emitter. You see, you can see. Once we tap the emitter, it gets the particle. We have the particle which going. Everywhere. And if you remember in the demo that I displayed at the start of this video, the particles are dropping. That's this is not it's not important or something we can do. Here we can change this from negative to positive. So we can see everything is now going down. So once we tap anywhere, the particle editor is created and it is responsible for emitting its own particles. And that's it. So um, that's that for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And um, yeah, see you in the next video if you choose to, if you choose to watch. Yeah. So um, bye.